Hello everyone, in this video tutorial we will tell you how to add the chat feature to your app. Log into your account and go to your business dashboard. Click on manage app and you'll be redirected to the overview page. Next under the edit test and go live section click on edit. Now to add the chat feature click on the add feature button in the sidebar. Then click view all and search chat. Click on the feature to add it to your app. Once you added the feature, you will see the feature listed in my features section where you can edit, customize, and organize your added features the way you want. Now hover over the feature and you will have options to show hide the feature, edit and customize the feature, delete the feature, and move the feature. Now let's check out all what you can do with the newly added chat feature. Click on the pencil icon here to edit and customize the feature. This is your page or future name. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. From here, you can change the feature icon. If you want, you can select a solid icon or an outline icon or an image from a library or upload your own custom icon image. You can even upload two different images for the mobile app and website. Let's move to the content section now. The content section lets you integrate chat room and other popular third-party chat messengers like Skype, WeChat, WhatsApp, Snapchat, and Line. Now first, let's check out the chat room option. Click this icon here to add chat room. Here you will see different form fields where you need to input the required data to configure the chat room. In this first field, enter the Firebase data URL. Next, enter the authorization domain, API key, and storage bucket in the respective fields. Please note you can get the required credentials by clicking the I icon here and following our tutorial. Now enter a chat room name in this field. From here you can upload a chat room icon. For adding multiple chat rooms, click on the add chat room button. If you want to delete chat room, then click the bin icon here. Now let's change the chat room page style and color scheme. From here you can change the chat room color scheme. Similarly, you can change the font style from the page elements font style section. Next, let's integrate Skype. Click the Skype option here and you will see the required fields that's needed to be added to, the, to integrate Skype. From here, you can manage the Skype menu name. This is your Skype menu icon. If you want, you can change it as per your needs. You can select an icon from a library or you can upload your own custom icon. Here you need to provide the Skype ID for integrating Skype. You can delete Skype option by clicking the bin icon here. Now let's add WeChat. Click the WeChat option here, then enter a WeChat name in this field. If you want, you can change the WeChat icon from here. You can either upload an icon from a library or upload your own custom icon. From here you can delete the WeChat option. Similar to the way you added the WeChat, we can integrate WhatsApp, Snapchat, and Line to your app. Now let's move on to the in-app purchase section and enable in-app for this feature. Click the in-app settings icon in the side menu. Then under in-app settings, enable the in-app toggle and provide the necessary credentials in the required fields. Please note you can enable in-app for both Android and iOS. To get the credentials, you can click on the question mark and refer to our tutorial. After providing the credentials, you can use them as global credentials by checking this checkbox here. Please note, you can also add new credentials if you want. Now come into language settings. Click here and you'll be redirected to the language settings section. Here you will see all the default text being displayed on the chat page. If you want, you can change the language settings from here. Once you're done, click on save to save the changes manually or directly click the publish button to see the reflection of your latest updates on your mobile app. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates as soon as they are live.